Okay. Okay. Good morning. Oh, wait, 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 we're not ready yet. <laughs> uh, I keep saying that and then not being able to do it. Um, yeah, just give me a minute. I blame Twitch. Actually, actually, no, you, you know, uh, you know who I blame? I blame our friend that got himself banned from, uh, from, <laughs> from Discord. <laughs> um, and, and yeah. So, so now that I have to stream to Twitch just for him. Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, uh, boys and girls. Yes. And whatever it is our, our other friend is calling himself these days. Um, so today we are continuing uh, with the adventures of the Squirrel Civil War. And of course, if time permitting, we're, we're going to actually answer the military question from last week as well. So let's get to it real quick because there's a lot to get through today. <laughs> there, there's always a lot to get through. See... See if you guys if you guys were a little bit more generous and actually provided you know uh, funds for me to stream for two hours, then maybe we wouldn't have to rush it. <laughs> no, no, you're rich enough. Don't, don't, don't even, don't go there. Out of all people in the Discord, you're the only one that's not allowed to say that particular. Uh, sentence. <laughs> anyway, so so today we are going to continue with our Squirrels of a War. In fact, we are going to yeah, we are, we, we are going to do this and we're going to do the other as well. Nothing's happened here. Something's happened here. Oops. <laughs> yes, I did just get right into it. That's that's kind of the point, I think, isn't it? Yeah, because... Okay, so first of all, technically, technically, this isn't even a stream meant for you lot, right? Like, this is a stream meant for uh, those, those astute viewers who are, um, shall we say... Oh... Who, who can appreciate a good thing, whereas uh, a lot of you lot can't, so, you know, this is not for you. <laughs> That's right, go. Take a bath. <laughs> it, it, it is, it is. Um, there's no reason why you can't take a bath in, in the, um, in the morning, though. I mean, you are filthy, de degenerate Californian. Why can't you? You, you guys do whatever you want, don't you? <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's what we're led to believe, right? And given given my own experiences working there, yeah, that that sounds about right. If I'm honest, yeah, sounds about. Right. So the 62nd now is in a nice position. It's it's got itself, you know, a very very nice open ground. Here, not that. No, 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 no. Do this, and I guess we're going to do that. Come on, come on. Yeah, vector, vectors shouldn't be that hard. I think the only reason vectors are that hard is because this document is, is is now completely overloaded with vectors and that's that's a little bit of a shame because that implies that the affinity designer itself isn't isn't built very well and I'm not sure I, I, I like that particular implication <laughs> okay so you know in the meantime things have happened Fifth is sort of on its last legs. Fortieth has broken through here. It's now going in this direction. The thirty-first in this direction. But but there is good news, and this is a big stinky butt. There's good news for the technocracy, in that they're not going to die. 
<laughs> well, okay, I don't know if that's that's good news or just like decent news, but they aren't going to die. And so that's that's a good start, right? <laughs> well, yeah, so so essentially what's ha what's happening is um you know, Clausewitz has has this very like like if there's anything you learn from Clausewitz is that all battle has this idea of a culmination point where the attacker has outrun his own supplies and the defender has uh, fallen back on his own supplies to the point where it is now possible like, like where that um, that push and pull in the battle is is becoming is becoming more even right so we've had these um our these squirrel divisions they they were arranged in this area and they've crossed what amount to be what is that like a kilometer and a half in about a day and they've used up a lot of their ammunition they've used up a lot of their food and it just ends up being that they are how do we say they they have exhausted themselves right and and a good a good general will actually find out um what his divisions need and how they can um how do you say how they can where, where to stop the offensive so that you don't lose all of it right and and, and that's particularly poignant because because the the that's what happened to to the technocracy, right? They they managed to get behind the defenses here, and that un, uh, unhinged the entire collective position. That allowed them to essentially push all the way down here. That's a lot of territory gain, but then they lost it because they overextended, and that's you know that's that's unfortunate, but that's also kind of part of life. <laughs> well, it is part of life. So with these two units now in place, the 63rd has essentially crossed over. Oops. Yep, crossed over like this. And is now in position to drive westwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So the second goes into this position. This can essentially stop. And essentially what we're saying is that there is a line between... Oops. Not like that though, give me one second. Um, actually, I kind of like this darker red in here, so we'll just... <laughs> I'll just subtly start using the, the uh, new red. And we'll just pretend. <laughs> we'll just pretend. Uh, so this is this is this blue, I believe. No, this blue, this blue. And I'm going to add this blue. Excellent. So yes, I figured out how to use palettes. <laughs> uh, it turns out it was there all along. I just uh, I wasn't looking. But in my defense, in my defense, I've never been an artist until what, like the end of 2020. And so like all of these things that I'm doing have been, you know, I, I've had to learn on the spot, right? So I think I'm allowed some amount of leeway. So there's going to be some fighting here. Uh, we're going to see this position and, and this position becoming more critical because Obviously, once the 40th has already crossed into Tower Gateway, so if they can establish themselves on the eastern shore of the Minori's line, then then it's going to make it very, very difficult. That's not to say that it's impossible, only that, you know, we have some, some more space. Let's see, so the army counter needs to move as well. Okay, so the split between the first and second army is now in place. 
Oh, no, the, the second and the third army. The, uh, the second army, though, I should say, has a very long line. And that's, that's why we're going to talk about it, actually. Don't worry, we'll talk about it. Relax. <laughs> it's interesting, though, isn't it, that um, the cavalry, because they're mounted, uh, squirrels mounted on Pomeranians, they have the ability to to make very quick changes in their maneuver. And so the second, even though it was trying to run away, it is now coming to, to help the uh, northern formation. That's not to say that's a good thing necessarily, right? Because n there's nothing in the south here. So we'll, we'll, we'll see the effects of that. Oh, we'll see the effects of that. Don't worry. <laughs> but, I mean, that's that's what you do when you don't have enough... Um, when you don't have enough forces, right? Because you tend to th throw them at where the fire is the hardest. It is burning the, the the fastest, and then you have to come back and sort of deal with the rest. <laughs> In some ways, though, I can't I can't really disagree with that statement. Um, the statement was, we don't get this in the modern world anymore, and 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 that it's a shame. Um, in some ways, I do agree with that because. At least as we see it on paper, this is, uh, how do I say it? This is a very epic looking thing, right? But I will say this, I, I will say that I am actually genuinely glad that we don't see these types of situations in the real world because it is, it is not, like, it is not glamorous, it is not glorious, there, there, Unfortunately, there is glory in war, obviously, but there is, like, that's that's not a good thing, right? Because that is all death and all destruction. Like, what we see in, in, um, uh... actually, no, wait, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> yes, I was going to talk about that, but no, I'm not going to actually talk about it on stream. We can talk about it after. So, this attack is being renewed. I mean, okay, I, I, I can talk about Clausewitz again, but is there really a point? Like, I've, I keep banging on about my boy that, like, literally every time I talk about this, or literally every time we do anything with the squirrels, so it's, it, it just feels like it'd be too much. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's my boy. I have I have a I have a um a ver a German version of Clausewitz's um uh, on war on my table. Like it's literally sitting beside my monitor and I of I, I don't actually flip through it anymore these days. <laughs> these days all I use it for is uh I put my microphone on there so that the the when, when when I touch the table like this, the the um the noise doesn't get propagated into the microphone. <laughs> but that's not the point. That's not the point. <laughs> that's not the point. Uh, the point is, it is on my desk, and it it is um. Interestingly enough, I will say this. Uh, it has been kind of useful in 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 running a startup. Uh, like, like you, you have to be very creative in reinterpreting what what he's saying in 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 the business world, but you can, and it does work, kind of. It's it's the same reason why, like, so, 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 like 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 pretentious pretentious um pretentious CEOs have have things like the art of war in their in their uh, reading lists, right? Because. <laughs> It doesn't actually do anything. It's just like it, it. It just teaches you not to not to be dumb. And I mean, some people need that lesson. So I guess, I guess it's legit. So here's the question: the second brigade, as it comes out, it first um, 
did a number on the 31st. So that offensive has now stalled. 63rd is moving in this direction. But because there's only so much room that you can move in, right? So it's also moving in this direction. Because why wouldn't you? So because of um, the benefits of the second uh, Pomeranian Corps, uh, Pomeranian Brigade, the uh, our, our squirrels are able to now come this way and attempt to relieve the 20th Division. So that's that's the front line there settled. The 40th has actually crossed into into this line. So and so now there is pressure on the uh, the technocratic eighth corps, both from the south and from the north. And that's that's tragic for the technocrats, isn't it? Because you can imagine if this if this gets pushed through, then the 30th is completely cut off. There's no way to, to save that formation. Right, so... That backwards a little. There's only so much room you can put uh, formations in here. And so... Let's move the army headquarters. They can go to Trinity Square Garden. Isn't that wonderful? It, it, it kind of is, isn't it? Uh, the fifth, no, the fifth should cross over and come back here. It needs to be closer, right? So, so there's now proper organization, and let let it not be said that the technocrats are 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 bad at organization because they definitely aren't. And yes, I'm not. <laughs> yes, they are ex inspired exactly by what, we, uh, by what you say they are, but I'm not going to mention it. Because, because they're, I mean, wh what else would they be inspired by, right? Like, honestly, it, the, the only way I could have made it more obvious is, is if the color were black instead of blue. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So the 12th remains here. Uh, these are still part of the 2nd Division, so we'll leave that there. Bam. Excellent. Okay. Uh, the fourth is moving in this direction, and it is moving in to, uh, uh, towards the east for a good reason because this uh, line, the London Wall line, is not an easy line to to cross. So General Elm, who's sitting at second um, second army headquarters, is not looking at that in particular. He's he's looking at all of the action that's happening in the east and salivating because you know there there's room for maneuver in these streets. Whereas this is, as you can see, a grinding positional, positional fight. And I don't think anyone really appreciates grinding positional fights because it costs a lot in terms of manpower, right? So let's see. That hasn't changed much. There's now a addition there. The relief efforts are helping. So the 20th itself and this is interesting, right? Because the the twentieth can see their their relief coming in this direction, and so as long as as long as they can move along this line, which is right by the shore, then everything is fine. But we are now, and this is a big stinky bottom. We're now going to actually introduce a new unit type. Oh, should I? No, no, this is the right place for it. Um, just give me one second while I load up a file. There we go. So instead of a maintenance bed, we we are actually going to have an engineering. And oops. And and it's going to be a regiment. I don't want to call it an engine. 
Right, so what is this? Um, this has been hinted at for a while now. Um, that the... The... Collective are building their own little... How do we say? Their, their own... Oops. That, that's not right. Uh, they're, they're building their own special unit type. And this is it. It's an engineering battalion uh, regiment that is essentially made up not only of squirrels but also of of wonderfully well trained rats, and there are very good reasons for that because rats are much better swimmers than than squirrels, so it it, it just ends up. Oops. Um, yeah, and so and so because they need this, uh, the the collective has seen the need for. Oh, it's the other way around. My bad. <laughs> there we go. Okay, excellent. And this is not as fun, but that's okay. I'll, I'll change it later. So the the collective has seen the need for engineering or oh, for for for. Um, I guess, I guess, w w w w what would you call it? Amphibious type assaults, um, or amphibious support. So they are incorporating these particular uh, engineering uh, engineering formations into into their 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 units. Right. So let's quite close. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this at all. Don't, don't, don't. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> e, this should be E. Okay, there we go. Engineering Battalion. No, not Engineering Battalion. Engineering Regiment. Come on. There we go. And this is the, uh, what shall we call this? We should, let's call this the E300. Yes. The first of the engineering. Oh, wrong. So this. See, we're going to sub subtly change everything to that kind of red. There we go. So this is the very first of these incarnations. And see, so what these can do is they can actually, they're a combat engine. Actually, let me, let me double check combat engine. That's right, maybe I should put, um... We need to put the, um... The tank symbol, just like this. To show that they are uh, technically, um, mount... Not mounted, but like... That they are... Excellent, excellent. So what this does is it shows that they are um, able to fight, not just not just do like their engineering. Right, so under it, do this line shall be like that. Oh, one. Maybe we'll we'll set this to one instead. There. So combat engineers. Does that symbol look weird? It looks a little big, right? Yeah, I feel like this looks a little big. Maybe let's let's shrink it down a little. Let's shrink it like 
this much. And then we'll set this all to one. Excellent. And maybe we'll make this just a little bit like that. Excellent. Okay. So <laughs> just bear with me. We're almost done. <laughs> Bro, bro, it's okay. Just, 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 if if you need to go, just go. hundred. <laughs> yeah. So this will be our our first deployment of the com Ooh. once again of the combat engineers. And actually, the first deployment of specialty troops by the collective as a whole. Ah, see, that looks excellent. There we go. That's a good point. Let's let's give him a second. Yes. Because engineering assets are are interesting. Right? <laughs> uh, it's not. It's not simply because I, I trained as a engineer. My undergrad was in engineering, no. I promise you, that's 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 not all it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> okay, so we have two engineering regiments here. And so what these are, are again, without going into too much detail, they are essentially rat-mounted squirrels. And so you can use, they're, they're not much faster than regular squirrels on foot, but it doesn't mean that you can do amphibious assaults. The rats themselves can, can dig tunnels and help the squirrels dig tunnels, etc, etc. And that makes it, that makes it extremely powerful, right? So, yeah. see what's happened here. There is that particular. <laughs> I'm glad you guys noticed that actually. It means it means someone's paying attention. <laughs> uh well what it it will it will come in. It will come in. Don't worry about it. It will come in. We are we are in a desperate situation here, and when when we're in a desperate situation, there is um, there's always needs, and there you always need to call in the cavalry, right? Because that that's that's exactly what that phrase means anyway. How long have we been on for? Oh wow, thirty minutes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I I really need to hurry this up. <laughs> so, let's see, nothing here. There's this. Boarding across the rail lines, and a supporting attack coming here. Excellent. These formations have really retreated back into this area. The fifteenth itself has sent another brigade into into the north, so we will actually see. Uh, That kind of effect. I'm going. Oh, wait, no, not like that. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. So, like this. So because of the help of the 15th, they've managed to retake some portions of the northern shore of Goodman's Yard line. And that's basically it, right? That's basically it for this, this part of the day. So let's move on. <laughs> I, 
actually, surprisingly enough, um, I I've been thinking about doing a translation of this into into Japanese to actually practice Japanese while. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so the idea is, um, you know, it'll happen slowly. But I'll I'll take these stories that have been ongoing, and I'll essentially translate them into Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? It'll be fun. Well, mostly it'll be fun for me. But that's you know that's that's kind of besides the point. So. combat engineers have essentially made their uh, made their 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 existence known and so because the second uh the the second pomeranian brigade can't really move right because they're now under pressure from the south here coincidentally let's move this in this direction they're now under pressure in the south from a full full division. Of course, there's not enough combat width for a full di division, so that's not the end of the world. Um, but it does mean that as as a formation, it's very hard for them to move. So it's dependent on now on the twentieth itself from from uh, a full for, for its own salvation. And part of part of that was supposed to be this clear route underneath, like the sun walk line. Right? But that's obviously no longer clear, and so it's it's now become a bit of a fight for for these boys and girls. <laughs> well, I mean, it it is a difficult it is a difficult position, absolutely. And would we have done any better? I I doubt it. And as usual, though, like the the security formations, they can't really do much. They can hold a line, but they can't read. They don't have the organi organization to attack. So it remains, you know, both. Uh, it, it remains the the job of the main combat divisions, field divisions, to actually do the damage. And whether they're doing the damage or not, uh, we don't know. <laughs> Now, now we do. Uh, one second, one second. Okay, so this comes in this direction. The 12th now is being redeployed southwards because they've suddenly realized the threat in the south, right? And we should make it clear that if the collective crosses into this line, this bridge becomes well, exactly, Tower Bridge, becomes untenable for reinforcements, which means that all re reinforcements have, been, have to be routed from the Far East. And that is dangerous. That is dangerous. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. The, the, so, so currently, their reinforcements, like both, both reinforcements and supply, are coming from this end. Uh, from, from this end down here right so if that's not um if that's not blocked if that's blocked then suddenly reinforcements that were already earmarked for this have to do a gigantic detour right that that is how much that looks like it's about two to four about five kilometers a walk i can't remember what the scale looks like i think this is two kilometers give or take all good <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, so the sixth is attacking this direction. That's not like th this 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 attack into the space of the eighth corp isn't doing as well as it probably should. But um you know they they do they do need extra firepower and you know unfortunately these formations actually we can we can start can start putting them out in mass. One. Oh no, two per arm. Two per. Arm.
And so the two of the for the first army were already assigned to uh, General Lloyd George in the south. Okay. So let's see. This is three three oh one three oh two. To and see, the problem. Well, it's not. It's not strictly a problem, but for for and for an engineering court, where would you come out of, right? If if you were to do do your digging, well, we shall see. No, that's not how it works. I mean, they could. Oh, oops. There, there is, there is the ability now, especially now that um, there are rats guiding them for them to use sewage tunnels, subway tunnels, etc., etc. And uh, there is a very good chance that that will happen. Whether I want it to happen or not is a completely different issue. <laughs> well, yeah, all right, because it it gives it gives the collective too much power, so we need to think of a way for that to not be quite as powerful as as it appears, right? Because right now all of the collective forces are literally sitting in the middle of, or are sitting in at the front lines, and so if I were to prop up, that is a sub. Hmm. That is a subway station. Hmm. I will have to think on this. Yeah, but but it it does mean that going forward there will be there will be some garrisoning of uh, of subway stops. You can guarantee. It. Uh, E three O. What was it? Zero one two three four five. <laughs> Uh, isn't is aren't you glad to know that I know how to count? Isn't it great? Isn't it amazing that like counting is an ability that I have, have access to? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and they are armored engineers. You're right. Um, that is the symbol for armored engineers. Uh, there is good reason for that, but we shall go into that. Oops. Uh, I'm being perhaps a tiny bit hasty with this because I do want to get to the military question. It, it is it is a fascinating question that I actually want to explore. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> They've been on the attack since start. Bam. And so this switches immediately to this area. The artillery also switches immediately to this area. Uh-huh. Oh, oops. Uh, yeah, let's talk about it afterwards. Yeah, 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 because yeah. because uh, that that is that is an excellent question, and one that we should address. Yes, but we can do it afterwards. No, no, no hurry. Yeah. Okay. So this now goes down here. The fourth actually retreats all the way up here for rest. And you can see that the systematic clearing of the London Wall is continuing. And we shall we shall we shall see if the technocracy has the ability to do so till the very end. 
Because if they could, that would be particularly powerful, right? Because it would mean that they can suddenly use a lot less, uh, uh, a lot less formations to to hold this, which you know they've already freed up the fourth. If this goes, then I could see two two divisions holding this entire line. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that would that would be that would be tragic. <laughs> Well, because the the collective is in this case much. Uh, they don't have quite as good command and control, which means that they uh, they really need more formations to deal the same amount of damage to do the same amount of pushing forwards. Yeah. Okay. So. And the 63rd is now here. It is now pushing in this direction. The 12th has made it just barely in time. And so the 63rd is pushing up in this direction. Right, so, so suddenly... Oh, actually, hold on. The 12th garrisoning the tower walls and so that what that really means is that it is impossible for the 63rd to push into this area because there's no there's no way to hide from the snipers that are just sitting there and at that distance it's it's hard to hard to miss so the 63rd itself probably isn't very interested in attacking in that direction But it is at least able to shut down, shut down the bridge, right? So that's that's still insanely important. And so now there's a problem here, right? Like what 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 happens with this? And that is where our oh, there we go. When this suddenly explodes out of out of nowhere. They've been hiding, they've been slowly like crawling along, trying to control their puppies. And with the appearance of the first uh, Pomeranian Brigade, we are seeing that the, the 301 is going to get pushed aside and the 20th is going to get held free and all of that good stuff. And that means the 20th itself is probably going to be saved. Most of these formations are going to be saved. They're gonna they're gonna suffer heavy losses, yes, but they're going to be safe, which is in terms of in terms of military structure, that is actually really important. Because um being being safe is uh having manpower be safe is not the same as having an, an organizational structure being safe. And there's a very big difference there. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Hello? Okay, there we go. All right, we're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on, give me one quick second. So none of these have changed. We still do have to change these. One here is now this position. Didn't mean to do that. So the 301 engineering uh, regiment is being pushed to the side because the first um, the first Pomeranian is pushing into it. There's some amount of chasing going on here, but that's that's no longer like. They're, they're, they've all essentially been saved. So in in the world of Go, you would say that uh, this has escaped a trap. <laughs> we could, yeah. Uh, there's no reason we can't. Uh, we can. Do you want to sponsor it for the, for for Monday? Yeah, we could. Absolutely. I don't think. 
Monday is earmarked. Uh, but I could be wrong. We shall make sure with our regulator. But I, I, I think it's fine. Yeah. I don't think Monday is earmarked yet, right? Yeah. See, it's not. So there is some amount of safety here. This is now going to fade as the attacks themselves are essentially petering out all across the line. These two are still exchanging fire, but there is... Uh, these two are still exchanging fire, but there is still a sliver of... Okay, there we go. Technocratic territory here, which means that these three formations here remain safe. And so, because of that, you know, this becomes a much bigger issue. The 12th, yes, it could, theoretically, but uh, only theoretically, in that it is, it is rather more difficult to come come through here especially if 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 there's even like a battalion here right like there there there's so little space that they could just uh, simply line up and just shoot across and nothing would cross so yeah if necessary of course there is there's a chance to use that but for for now there isn't and so uh <laughs> Because rats' hides are tougher, uh, they 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 they're used as armored engineers. Yes. Let's see. So this is all. This has essentially all been settled. The fifteenth will join the eighth because that is just easier. Join command of the eighth. That's good to know. So we'll we'll deal with that. Yeah, yeah. I guess I I didn't expect this to take so, this long, so I will have to do something about it. There's another attack in this direction. Excellent. And so the fourth is sitting here now, but it is not moving. And it is not moving because it is still, it is essentially resting and acting as um, army reserve. But the idea is that General Elm is looking at this area and going, hmm, what can we do there? And, and you know, there there's going to be some stuff that's happening, but I think that'll happen on the 29th. Once, once that is clear, let's see. Yeah, we're good. There's nothing happening on this end because, again, like, this is a dead attack, right? And with the arrival of the engineering, uh, of the engineering uh, regiments, it's... They count as combat formations as opposed to something like a maintenance. It, like they count as heavy duty siege busting combat formations, and we will see them actually used soon, and it'll be interesting. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Okay, we're 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 okay. Let me just pull up the. This fighting here is clearing up, so most of it is now uh, resting on this. And 
we are we are good here yeah excellent now i will real quick switch over to the actual uh actual toy soldiers as opposed to toy squirrels um just because i want to talk about that particular campaign and it's this one and this is for whomever is going to come and look at this. <laughs> the original question for, for those uh, eagle-eyed is that, yes, um, question one had to do with the Black Army taking City A. And now question two is you are the Blue Army and you are to defend City B for as long as possible. And how would you do that? It is... It is... A, a rather different question than, than A. A. A was all about um, taking a city with losses. Uh, but now B is about how to hold a city or how to hold a position and distract the enemy as much as possible, right? And at our disposal, we have essentially three corps of uh, Dragoons. Dragoons in, uh, in the classical sense means that they are essentially line infantry that ride horses. So they have a much higher operational speed but pretty much the same strategic speed but also higher tactical speed right so in this case what i would do is um let's phase this out phase one t1 there we go done this goes to why, why is your opacity not changing? Oh, right, because, yeah, okay, no, we're good. So, opacity is locked. There we go, so that's phase one. I would probably retreat all, oops. Ugh. Both sets of dragoons go into the forest, and yes, that is a forest path, and this forest, forest path is only available to the blue force until um, they they retreat or they move into it in in view of the black force in which case it becomes open to them this moves to the south or no actually two divisions move to the south so essentially what's, what's happening is you have one division that's essentially scrambling to build enough um, defenses in this area and we are specifically choosing not to why am I able to select? I shouldn't be able to select that. Oh. Oh, they were part of... Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with it in the future. Uh, the, I'm specifically choosing this line because the um, you can use this as a sort of hitting them in the back kind of thing. But essentially the first phase is, is going to be a one where we're trying to delay the black force as much as possible and we do that by taking advantage of the height that is available to us so we have essentially one core there one here and there's no way for them to climb up so we're safe we're fairly safe here we're actually going to take our artillery and we're going to move them to the south at least two of them because this is a much better uh, position for artillery than this is. That doesn't mean we won't keep any, but in this case the Black Force has overwhelming advantage in artillery, so we don't really want to mess with that. that. We're going to have the Dragoon Force in this position so that if Black is... if the Black Force does end up offering battle to, to come up, then the Dragoon Force is very easily going to slam into their backs. If it doesn't, the Force can retreat, etc, etc, right? We're, we're not going to sacrifice our, our infantry divisions because they we don't have a lot. <laughs> so, so in the case, I would imagine the Black Commander does something like this. Um, there's just one core that's going to come up and it's going to screen while the other two move in this direction. That is that is generally because uh, because the black force in this case is on a schedule. They have to. You're pressing the wrong button. They have to uh, cross 
and take the port by day seven to prevent reinforcements from arriving. Oops. Has it been an hour? 55 minutes, we're okay. We're okay. So in this case, the, the, the dragoons will essentially do this screening thing before they pull back. And the benefit of having three brigades of dragoons is you you essentially have a division and a half of line infantry that's that's sitting in the middle of this, which means that yeah, like it's it's not a great position, but it's also not not absolutely terrible, right? So then you oops, all three of them move forward in this position, and then to the south the same thing, and in the south. It'll be different because there's no way you can really screen this without moving. So, I assume what the black com uh, the the commander of the black force is going to do is just to attack and attempt to take it. Did I not talk about the inspiration for this last time? The inspiration for this, of course, is the um, the Prus uh, Prussian Russell Franken Franklin. Ah. Can't speak. Uh, <laughs> uh, the war in 1870. Let's let's just put it that way. Yeah, uh, the war that led to the unification of Germany, essentially, and that's what that's why you have blue and black, right? So this is phase one, or rather phase two. And so what will happen next depends very much on on a lot of things, but essentially. Ugh, But essentially, our cavalry I need to lock this, and I need to set it to thirty percent. There we go. Not like that. Our cavalry will move out, and keeping in mind, right? This is this is essentially three divisions worth of rifles that are coming out here. So the idea is to catch. If there's cavalry still in here, is to catch the gun. If there is artillery here, is to catch the artillery. If there isn't, is to harass supply lines. And obviously, this force, even with our superior rifles in, on the blue side, were unable to match just the sheer manpower. So, I assume it's going to look something like this. And... And it depends on how the artillery are moving, but essentially I would imagine um, two of them sitting here and a third one moving out with them. Let's set that back to two, right? And so... It depends it, now on the defensive though. It depends on what happens in this particular fight. If if there's any breakthrough, if there's any breakthrough, then all of these formations retreat into the forest and come out on these sides to then essentially garrison the city. Right? You want to garrison the city and uh, bring about some, shall we say, some 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 civilian support because this is this is the main trade city of nation nation blue the blue force it's the second city it's not the capital but it's the the, the commercial hub and so you would imagine there's a lot of population there to actually take advantage of it and you would be absolutely correct in my original in my original blurb i had said that if you are able to bring enough um fortifications, not fortifications, um, enough units back to the city. If you don't lose them all out front, then you have, what was it, like three brigades that rise up, or no, five brigades that rise up with the standard infantry rifles. So it's 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 a pretty good deal if you're, if you're able to save the city. So to that e event, actually, we're also allowing the uh, artillery to move to this end because then you can take the secret mountain paths to um yeah 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 exactly yeah you you want to run away 
in in the most efficient way possible right so essentially the line if it does get pressed and it will get pressed like there's there's no doubt about that because oops like the black force doesn't even have to really attack with the infantry they can just let like if, if, if you're going to line up in the middle of the uh, of the land they can just have the artillery bombard right so it's going to just continue like this there's going to be a press along here but the idea is, you know, can we do this? And I'm of the opinion that we can, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's see, phase four. And so in phase four, we're going to have our dragoons essentially come back to assault. Just dimming those just a little bit. Um, yeah, and and so by having the dragoons either either all come back or you know some of them come back, we are encouraging. We're encouraging the black force to actually take three formations and to move it back here, and that's important because suddenly this southern it it means the southern yeah, the southern front or the southern edge of these hills. Are less under pressure right and so even though there is artillery in play it's it's still easier to fall back if there's not that much manpower and of course on the northern front if i if i'm uh, if i am as the blue force able to just overrun the artillery that would be amazing because suddenly these infantry uh, the these infantry are using the dry needle gun, whereas the blue infantry are using the chasse which is just dramatically overwhelmingly superior. Of course, the the reverse is true in the artillery. With I can't remember the names. <laughs> Krupp, P sixty four, whatever. I think something like that. <laughs> You're right. I, I am a terrible military nerd, and that, and partially that's simply because I'm not really a military nerd. All right. Um, you you're also right in that this is very bare, and I did commit a lot of forces here. But the idea is, if I can have with my oops, with my cavalry, um, keep keep this slowed and continue to harass. Then one dug in formation against against four uh, dragoons is is not a um, unwinnable situation. If we put it that way, yeah, I don't absolutely not right. And even even these two can move forward. In fact, we we could have moved them much forward much earlier. And if if this screen you know takes too long. We can have two for two two formations that slam into the side of it, and that's that would be amazing. <laughs> Whether that'll actually work or not is, is completely different, right? So so no, the, the, they'll probably stay here, and we'll get to the last part because yes, yes, I'm aware we're over the hour. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Uh, you lot just want to make my life difficult. I know, I know. It's okay. And so once it's out in the open, though, this unfortunate, unfortunate um, division is just going to die, right? So perhaps there was a case of it being retreating into into the forest, and you know, like then then the black force will have have to have something screen this, and. Even even like this, right? This is this is a much different force compared to excuse me. There we go. This is a much different force compared to compared compared to all of this that was here. Because these three cannot or at least at least two of them have to have to stay behind to deal with here with our Aaron Dragoons, this one can go like that. 
And so these three, of course, have to do their own, like, defensive thing. Something along those lines. You, you get the point. And so the the idea is very critical. It's the, it's to leverage this area and your superior rifles to draw out the artillery, overrun it from the rear, and to hold the black force here as long as possible if you can survive for 10 days. 7 days? 10 days? I can't remember. Uh, if you can survive for that long, then reinforcements come and you can... Uh, you have the numerical superiority to completely push black away. So, again, to me at least, this mountain is key. Alright, okay, okay. Okay, we're done. Good, excellent. <laughs> oh, we are done, we are done. Um, so... <laughs> oh, we we can we can talk about the monopoly, but not today. So, in conclusion, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't don't do don't do Chrome, do Firefox. You know, all that lovely stuff. Chrome is a crime against humanity, just like Internet Explorer was originally. And Internet Explorer is a meme, so I don't understand why Chrome is not a meme, because Chrome does the exact same thing, right? It slows down the computer. It's overwhelmingly um, bloated and it causes all sorts of security issues. So please, use Firefox. All right? All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Oops.